When it comes to your bookings, strangest booking request you've received so far. Oh my God. Strangest booking request would have to be. Yeah, craziest thing. Just from like crazy thing. fans and stuff trying to request me to come to them. <laughs> like just weird shit like that random guys sending inappropriate things and requesting. <laughs> Requesting things that I can't really say on camera. I see. <laughs> right. Um, some, one time I got something like fake where it was like uh, come across seas and it was really weird. Almost like somebody was trying to like kidnap me or something. Sounds scary. Doesn't right. sound weird. Right. Like you really got to make sure you're not being dragged in no BS. <laughs> you got security with you at all times. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Now, just curious when it comes to money okay. and your bookings, mm -hmm. what's the most amount of money you've been offered that you've ever turned down for whatever reason? Most amount of money? Yeah. So far. I turned down maybe like 20 stacks. 20 stacks. Right. Um, because the song sucked. <laughs> it was a feature request? Yeah. I'm really serious about like what I put my voice on and who I like affiliate with. Mm. And to me, it's just bigger than money sometimes. Like, I'm not about to just be on no bullshit. So I declined. <laughs> now, when you declined, right. especially, I, I know sometimes artists, they can feel some type of way right? when they're declined. Right. Did that artist in particular feel some type of way the way you declined it? Um, no, I'm pretty nice about, no. It's just, um, I think I just kind of like didn't do it. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I just, then, um, maybe let's try something else. Mm. You know, oh, let's get in the lab and let's just create organically when I'm there with you. I, I hate Sometimes when people send stuff and you're not a part of the the vibe, it's just not your vibe. So, I see. You know? Uh, there's some people watching this right now that would be $20,000. Okay, even if I didn't like the song, I'm still going to do that feature. Right. No. Not for you. Was, uh, it's bigger than money. Music means so much to me. And I'm just one of those people, like... It got to be special. It got to be something that I really believe in. Got to be something that I'm putting into the universe that's great. Like, I, I'm just not going to do no bullshit. Now, um, I take it no regrets on that. No. That decision there. Thinking back hindsight 2020. But you work with a lot of artists, right? Yes. You know a lot of artists. Yes. I'm just curious. If we had a percentage, like a pie chart, mm -hmm. 100%, mm -hmm. what do you think the rate is from people you know, people you probably can assume how they, how they would think? What do you think the percentage is artists would probably take the money for that feature, regardless of how it sounds, the versus, versus, you know, if it doesn't sound right, I won't touch it? Well, I know the percentage on a pie, hmm. It just depends. Like, I know some rap artists that they don't care. They're going to give you a verse and be done with it. Business transaction, period. Mm. But I know some pretty elite artists that probably won't even look at the email if it's not certain people. Or if you're not in the lab with them. Or if, you, if they can't get you in the lab, you won't even be on their album. Like, they're not doing that back and forth sending. So, like, I try to view the people that I aspire to be affiliated with um, in a sense of like high level art or potent just artist period. And like, you know, money ain't everything when you build in like a legacy for real. So uh, I try to keep that in mind because money gonna come, you know? Now, have you been like this with this thought process from the beginning of your career? Or yes. was there one point when you did take money and, you know what, this is not my type of thing no more? I've always been extremely meticulous with, like, my art and stuff. So um, it's been times where I probably should have because I don't come from, like, rich, wealthy 
beginnings, but um, I believe in myself a lot. And I just know like where I'm headed. And I've always just tried to stay true to like the image of my mind of who, who I'm becoming, you know what I mean? Or who I will be. So I don't like deal with certain guys because of that. I don't deal with certain energies because of that. Like I gotta keep myself on that path, so I'm cool. Now, uh, at the same token, right? Mm -hmm. In this instance, when we talked about uh, what you've turned down, you turned down a feature. Now, right. has there been on the opposite end of the uh, on the opposite end of the spectrum a feature you requested f from somebody else that you were denied or declined? Oh, all the time, for sure. Um, I mean, not all the time. I'll take that back. Not that many, <laughs> but I mean. Huh, no, I take it all back. Actually, I have not requested, but I have wanted to work with certain people and then just didn't get the chance to yet. But, um, yeah, like some of my homies, like, I'll be like, yo, when we get in the lab, it just take forever. Like, they be really busy. Or just, we just got to catch, I just got to catch them in the right time and space. But I usually get everything I want. You do. <laughs> Eventually. When it, I mean, you know, I usually get everything I want. Yeah. Must be nice. I mean, yes, I work really hard though, and it's not like an instantaneous thing, but if I put it in my mind, I usually get, I usually achieve it. Like, like, I wanna work with Kendrick so bad, I'm, go I'm gonna work with Kendrick, <laughs> literally. Like, um, I manifested it so much that it's just like, certain things have happened already where he's heard my stuff, you know what I mean? And we've already met, and it's just a matter of time for we work for real. Is he at the top of your wish list at yes. this point? Yes, he is. Now, you, your wish list can consist of any artist on the planet. Right. Why Kendrick for you? He's just my favorite. He is a lyrical beast. He is poetic. He is, he is raw as fuck. I think he takes like dope risk. He's really soulful and in tune with jazz. Like all the stuff that I'm just like, that I just fall right into naturally. I just feel like we would be dope in the lab together and we would just, we would make something like legendary. I just, I can't wait to work with him. Is it, just curious here, is it a concept or a song you already have on your hard drive that you've Many. been waiting to put them on? Or? For sure. Okay. Oh, I got songs that I literally won't let nobody get on because when I get to him, I'm gonna press play on that ass. <laughs> He's gonna get on these songs. I literally have songs in a tuck, like a Kendrick folder. Like wow. I love Kendrick, yeah. Like a few songs. <laughs> I didn't know, I was, just, again, I was just curious. I didn't know if you had stuff or if it was something you'd want to create from scratch. Right, I would love to create whatever he want to do, really, I'm down. <laughs> like if he wants to do something from scratch, cool. But if I had to be like, Kendrick wants to do something with you right now, can you send something like I have stuff put aside, ready for him? Yeah. Well, we'll He's see what happens. Dope. We'll see what happens the next time we interview you. Right, right. But I mean, I'm close. Like, I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm in there. You know, like, um, I work with Punch and stuff okay. all the time. And I got records with him for days. Like, we always create. So I feel like, yeah, pretty close. I'm, I'm in there. <laughs> He's definitely heard my stuff. He told Punch that I sound like I look like Keisha from Belly. And I, you know. The blue vibe, the whole brown skin, big titty bitch. <laughs> so he's pretty accurate. Then when then when Punch showed him the picture, it was like, oh yeah, that's about right. <laughs> so, yeah. But we were supposed to work a long time ago. It's crazy how life happens. But we were supposed to work a long time ago. And then this is like before he really, really was huge. Okay. And um, like it was like you have a flight to do something really important. Either you do this session that we have or you gotta take this flight. And then at the time, I think my management like made me like take the flight because it was like some big meetings or something, but it just, uh, I really wish I would have <laughs> this session. But you know, everything in God's timing. So, you know, it is what it is. So that's It'll something you do when regret. It's supposed to happen. I don't really regret it because I feel like I'm still gonna be able to work with him. Um, what I do regret is like not being able to be in the era to work with like Tupac and Prince. Mm. <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna work with Kendrick one day. So 
If you had to choose one, Tupac or Prince, who would it be? <gasps> Why would you do that? Um, <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Oh, I don't know how to answer that. That That is like, it's not fair. Okay. <laughs> not fair. Both. I don't fucking know. Damn. Um, ah, I need both of them in my life for different things. <laughs> but yeah, R.I.P. the greats.